Installing a business directory is a great way to get traffic to your website. It's lots of high quality pages with important content and valuable information with local keywords. So Google search loves it. Plus, if you make it a valuable research for your audience, they'll keep coming back. So today I'm going to show you how to set up a directory on your website using the free plugin GeoDirectory. I do want to note that there are a lot of ways that you can monetize your directory, specifically by selling featured listings. A lot of those features are not available on the free version of plugins. But what you can do here is get started for free. And then if you want to use those premium features, you can upgrade when it's time to do that. So let's get started. All right. So the first thing we have to do is install the geo directory plugin. So go to plugins, add new, and then search up here for geo directory. And then you're going to see here, uh, probably the first one that comes up, will say something like business directory plugin for geo directory, click install now, and then activate. And from here, that brings us to the setup wizard. So let's go ahead and go through this. First, we need to set up our map. Now you do need a Google Maps API key for this step. If you don't have one and you don't know how to do that, I did make a video showing you how to do that. And I will link that in the description. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it as automatic, which is recommended, even though I could click the Google API's um, drop down because I am using my Google Maps API, keeping the map as English for me. And then I'm going to paste my API key here. I'm not going to show it to you. You want to keep your API key secret, um, but I am going to post it here and then I'm going to click continue. And then you'll get to this part where it's asking you to drag the map or the marker to set the city or town you wish to use as the default location. Um, now with the free version of GeoDirectory, you can only have one location. Um, so if you want more than one location, you will have to upgrade. I am making mine in Asheville, North Carolina. So I'm going to move it there. Where are we? Virginia. Here we go. North Carolina and Asheville right there. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and make sure it's good. Kind of right in the middle. And then I'm going to click continue. Next, we come to a screen where it asks us if we want to install these recommended plugins. Now, this one, the iCode Connect, is the people that made the plugin. It's their support plugin. And also, if you plan on eventually upgrading to paid add-ons, you do need that. So I am going to install that. It also recommends Ninja Forms and Users WP. Ninja Forms is a form plugin. Um, it's good, but I use Gravity Form, so I'm going to uncheck that. And Users WP is for login and registration, which I'm eventually going to do, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use that plugin. It's something I'm going to research later, so I'm going to not install it for now. So you can decide which plugins you want to install and then click the install button. And after that's done, you'll get a little check mark next to whichever ones you installed and then click the continue button. Next, it gives you the option to add some content onto your site. So if you're interested, you can automatically add in dummy data. So there will be stuff on your website for listings. So you can see how the directory works without actually manually adding in listings. You can automatically add widgets to your sidebars and you can automatically add links to your menus. I don't want to do any of this. I want to be in control of all these steps. So I'm going to click skip this step. And that's it. We're pretty much set up now. It is asking me if I want to um, allow diagnostic data to be sent. I will allow that. And then for next steps, it's telling us to create your first listing. So sure, let's let's click that and create our first listing. So first things first, you want to add a name for your listing. This is probably a um, business name. And then you're going to want to add a description about uh, what makes this business 
or listing unique there. And then when we scroll down, there's a place to put the category. We don't have any categories set up yet, which we will do very soon. Right now, I'm just gonna leave it as uncategorized. Next, we set the location. And to do this, I'm going to just kind of drag on the map. And if you do go out of the city that you've chosen, it, it tells you to make sure to keep the address in the city that you picked as the default location. Um, note that you do have to enable the geocoding API for this to work. I will give it instructions uh, for that in the description. Just make sure you move the, the map marker uh, in the city that you picked. So in here I picked, I tried to just pick Asheville, but it, it seems to be very specific that it wants it in Biltmore Forest. So I will stick it there and uh, set address on the map. It'll put it in right here. If you really want to be direct, you can set the latitude and longitude. And you can also choose which map you'd like to use. Now let's add some images. When you click select files here, you could pick whatever pictures you want to show up for this listing. I'm just gonna use this random picture I have of people drinking wine just cause it was on my recent downloads. And usually I don't do tags for uh, WordPress, but in this situation I am because I feel like tags are very useful here. Cause we're gonna have categories of the different types of businesses, different types of listings. But in this situation, people might choose the business depending on what amenities they have. So for example, if it's an RV park with a pool and they wanna look for all the RV parks with a pool, it's a good idea to put that for a tag. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and put pool here and then click add. And then I'm gonna click save draft because we still have to make a category. So we're gonna pop on over to place categories and then name your category. This is going to be very similar to regular post categories. You have the slug option, you can do a pa parent category and you can put um, descriptions. You can also put default listing images and your own um, unique map icon if you so choose. You can even pick your own category icon. I'm gonna go ahead and do like a campground icon and you can choose your category color. I'm gonna make this, make sure this matches my branding later, but let's just choose something for now. And you can set the schema type. You should definitely have this as the correct one. It's most likely gonna be the default local business, but this is good for SEO. So make sure you do this right. And then click the add new place category. And then we can go back to places, click edit, and then set the category to RV parks, get rid of that uncategorized option and it'll give the, it'll make the default RV parks and then hit publish. Now we can click this link up here to view the listing. Now when you first do this, you're gonna get these admin hints. This is some tips from the actual plugin to help you out. I'm gonna just close out of this for now. And now we have our single listing page. Now, like it said on that little hint, we will be able to, like the design will be affected by the settings for the plugin, your theme, or if you're using a page builder, you can change how this page is set up that way. But right now we have the featured image, we've got the category, we've got tags, uh, we've got the description here under the profile tab, photos under the photo tab, maps under the map tab, and the ability for people to give reviews on the review tab. So we've got our basic first listing set up. Let's click this category uh, link right here. We'll go ahead and disable this hint again. And now this is what people are going to see when they choose the uh, RV parks category for that location. Now this is just a mess. I do definitely have to design this, but that'll be for another video. Let's not, let's not do too much at one time. Right now, let's just finish up the basic setup. So we're gonna go back to the dashboard and I'm gonna show you, I don't have my sidebar set up yet, but I do wanna show you that the GeoDirectory plugin does come with widgets that can go on your sidebar. So let's check those out. 
So if we click this plus sign here to add a block and we just start writing GeoDirectory, all of the GeoDirectory plugins are going to pop up. We have uh, search, categories, recent reviews, recently viewed, notifications, or ad listing. So these are all widgets that you can put on your sidebar if you so choose to. Now, if you do have a sidebar on your directory listings, I think it would be great to um, specifically um, show the search and to also show the uh, categories on the sidebar. I think that's a great idea. Um, I think if you have other uh, widget areas on your site, it would uh, be really good to maybe do the recently viewed. So if people are maybe browsing around your site and they look at um, one listing to have maybe recently viewed at the bottom so they can go back to it easy would be kind of cool. Recent reviews would be great too for like a bigger site, a more active site that has users, has those reviews. Um, I'm actually not going to set up my sidebar right now. I wanna do that later when I design the site better. But I would like to set up my menu. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave and I'm not gonna save changes here and I'm gonna click menus on the sidebar under appearance. I'm going to choose the menu I want to edit from the top. I'm going to edit my main navigation and click select. And then you can see here, for, for me under most recent, it shows it GD details, GD archive item, GD archive location, um, all of that. If you don't see it under most recent, you'll see it under view all. So we've got an ad listing page if we want to set it up uh, for people to add in their own listings. We've got a bunch of stuff here. And if you scroll down, we also have all that stuff up here. So you can add in um, place tags on your main menu. You can add in place categories and you can add in uh, geo directory endpoints. So you can uh, add the specific pages. To make things very easy for me right now, I'm just going to add this RV parks category to the menu and then click save. And then when I view my website, it's right there. And then when I click it, it goes to a page that's not designed very well, but exists. And that's it. We've got the basic setup of the GeoDirectory plugin done. Now we definitely want to make some design updates. We probably want to add on some more functionality, maybe some premium add-ons which I will definitely do with you guys in other videos. So if that's something you're interested in, please subscribe to my channel. And if this video was helpful to you, please give it a like. And if you're building your own website, don't forget to check in the description for your free website roadmap download. Thank you so very much for watching.